Okay, for a Covington landmark. And Shane Nora was on the auction block after financial problems for its owners. WLWT News 5's Curtis Fuller joining us live right now with the story. Hi, Curtis. Hi there, Mike. You know, this place is known for its jazz, food, and conversation. Today it was packed with curious onlookers as this restaurant and bar went on the auction block. In all, 16 people signed up to be bidders, but only five actually pulled out their wallets and got into the action. It's wonderful. There's a lot of interest. This is uh, you know, the, the epicenter of what goes on for social life in Covington. 200, 300, oh, I got $200,000 here, number three. Shea Nora, a popular spot in Covington's Main Strauss the past two decades. Look around the place and everything is as it was when the doors closed at the beginning of this year. On this day, once again, it was the gathering place. But the sound of the auctioneer's voice signals a much different atmosphere than the jazz music that used to fill the air. It's sort of bittersweet because I've been personal friends with uh, Jim and Patty Galise for years who have owned and, and operated and been uh, just fixtures, rock and tours, uh, you know, well welcomed in the community. Um, hopefully the new owners are going to take as much love and care of it. The nearly 12,000 square foot building listed at $750,000, but the bidding began much lower, eventually going to a northern Kentucky businessman. The price tag, $385,000. We think that we can make it into a viable project, at least on the first floor, as, as similar to what it was. The new owner is not sure what direction he'll take, but he hopes to be up and running within a year. My other partner that's in Texas for today uh, has more of the concept on that operating end of it. I'm more investing in the real estate because I know it's, it's a good piece of property. And a good piece of Covington charm and history. This is partly where uh, uh, Arnold Simpson, our state representative, myself, started plotting our strategy to defend Covington against the toll bridge. I mean, but there's probably 1,500 different conversations that, that, that had anything to do with what happened here in Northern Kentucky, probably got launched somewhere around here. You know, as the old saying goes, if those walls could talk, imagine all the conversations that have taken place in there over the past 20 years. Well, the new owner had to put down at least 10% of the uh, uh, asking price there of uh, 385 or the price that he bid. So he put down at least $38,000 today. Uh, he will have to close this deal by January 10th. Reporting live in Covington, I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5. All right, Curtis, thank you. Any outstanding taxes will be paid using the proceeds from the sale, and all liens on the property were released.